Hey yo guys, Marlon King here and this week I'm going to be showing you the Manfrotto B3 messenger bag. I'm going to show you all of the compartments, I'm going to show you whether we can fit laptops inside there, I'm going to show you the camera equipment going in and most importantly if you're new to the channel I do consumer technology and camera gear reviews so consider subscribing if that's your bag. Right, let's crack on. Let's get warmed up guys. It's been a while since I've done a video. So um, right, let's just kick straight into it. Hey yo guys, Mullen King here. And in this week's video, I'm gonna be talking camera bags. Now I've had quite a few bags in my time and um, I wanted to get a slightly bigger camera bag. So just to give you an idea, I've had this little portable uh, lower pro bag and I've had this for probably about 12 years now and it works a treat actually perfect for mirrorless cameras but I just wanted something a dash bigger now just to give you an idea this is my low pro rucksack that I normally carry around um, I should probably do a review on it at some point because I absolutely love this bag and uh, it is quite big so really I wanted something in the middle and I decided to order the Manfrotto B3 messenger bag, which seemed, at least on the imagery, to fit the bill. And then it turned up, and as you can see, it is significantly bigger than I was expecting. Just to give you an idea, I'm not even sure I can give you an idea it's that big, but look, way bigger than I was expecting. And just to give you an idea, if I put the rucksack next to it, it is as big as the rucksack, arguably almost bigger. Let's just quickly talk about the size of this bag. It's 44 centimeters long, it's 18 centimeters wide, and it's 30 centimeters tall. Um, and if I'd actually got my tape measure out before I bought it, I'd have realized it was actually this size. It's actually bigger than my laptop bag that I take to work, so that'll kind of give you an idea. Um, and I'd like to think it can fit a laptop in here. We will do a test later on and I'll show you that. Um, I'm gonna use the overhead camera for this because it will be easier, so let's quickly switch to this. Um, first I'll lay it down, and you can see the bag there. Got the flap, which we'll do in a second. Side, we've got a little side pocket here that unzips. Back. So you've got some kind of handle there, or um, I believe that is something so you can attach it to suitcases. And we've got another little side pocket here. Right, so let's open up this bag. Two latches on the side. We've got another pocket here. Let's open this up. So this pocket here, I believe is to help um, put a tripod in. And I'll show you this at the end. So look, we can see there it's got some kind of bag and it opens right the way out. So we can kind of see. All right, there we go. So once I've done filming, I will quickly um, try the tripod in it and see whether it actually works. We've got a nice, well, you can't see this here, we've got a nice padded shoulder strap. Um, it's got quite a rough texture there, so it's gonna be fairly grippy and hopefully won't fall off your shoulder. Um, inside this, um, let's quickly move it here. Inside this bag, we've got a little zip and that zip actually allows you to get your camera gear very quickly from the top um, rather than having to keep on opening and closing this flap. So that is really handy. 
Um, actually, I've seen this feature on a few um, bags of this type. So, um, nice to see it on this one. I'm glad that wasn't actually a whole cardboard box in there. Right, so, what have we got in here? Padded separators. And it looks like they've left a gap there for one and two lenses. Um, bearing in mind, this is quite deep. So if you've got something like a 70 to 200 lens, that's gonna be perfect for this. Um, I'm gonna leave that there for now. In this side, I'm guessing you could put the whole camera or you could put anything really. I'm interested to see what this thing is. It's like it's, again, a, maybe a larger separator. Uh, so you can customize the bag however you want. So that's one, two, and there's a three separators that come with this bag. I'm guessing this is the waterproof cover. I was kind of hoping this would already be attached to the bag, but I'm happy for it to be like this. Yeah. So that's just gonna slide over the, the top. Fine, nice to see that. Right, what else have we got? So we've got a laptop pocket here. Um, now, a lot of the reviews said you couldn't fit a big laptop in there. Actually, one review said they struggled to fit a MacBook Air 13 inch in here. So now let's quickly look further inside here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is another zip here. And that is more a netting organizer so you could maybe put lens caps or batteries and cables in there and equally on this side as well you can see there is another one i'll um, get a close-up cam in a minute so you can see inside and that's about it there's no other secret compartments in there um so all in all it is quite a nice bag what oh look we, there is another zip here on the front so just under the flap we've got another zip here and inside here this again more compartments you've got one two three compartments a, a smaller one on the end and a slightly bigger one in the middle um, and then just one big area to throw random stuff in and then yeah we've done the tripod one so have a look at this side pocket. Now what they've done is they've put a little edge to it so when you open it up all of your equipment doesn't fall out which is nice to see. There we have it guys really, I mean a bag's a bag right? Now this is, uh, I'm gonna have to stop filming with the main camera in a minute and show you dropping it in but it's a mirrorless camera, it's absolutely tiny and this bag is pretty much overkill for that. The only reason this bag would work for me is, uh, oh, let's see, I'll need to buy a drone to fill up that pocket and then as I said, get a few more lenses for down here. And then we're talking business. Now, one thing to note is on the back here, we do have another outer zip and let's just see what this is. Only opens to the top. And it's kind of like almost another laptop bag. I'm not sure what that compartment is actually for. Let's see. Oh, can you believe that? So I've actually got a laptop in there. It's fairly well padded as well. Look. Not super padded, but padded enough to protect it. So you could easily fit two laptops in here if you wanted to, which I find pretty amazing. So uh, if you've got two laptops, then this bag will sort you out. I've managed to fit arguably a large tripod in there that you can see that's trying to slide out now um, so you would have to be careful but it's unlikely the bag's going to be at that tilt when you're walking around um, and you can obviously do these up fairly tight 
Right guys, next up, let's try the waterproof cover. Um, you can see here it's got a couple of little Velcro bits here. So we're gonna put that over the uh, top part because we want to access the shoulder strap. And then we're gonna pull the rest over the bottom. As we can see here, yeah, that protects the bottom. So if you place the camera bag down, it's not gonna get wet. And then this comes over here and over there. And that appears to work reasonably well. Um, obviously that does leave the back exposed but I guess the point is this would be expected to be against your side if you're carrying it so oh, there we go waterproof cover done so bear in mind the outer laptop bag is not going to affect inside and equally this tripod one doesn't affect the inside either so Whatever you put in here isn't going to be jeopardized by anything else. And look, this mirrorless camera is pretty small. Um, so if I put this in, look, if I put it in the big compartment, you can see that is... Uh, can't get any light in there? You can't. It is just a void, isn't it? Oh, my word. Um, hold up. There we go. Look at that, it is absolutely tiny in there. Um, equally, I could put this in one of the lens compartments. That's just the camera itself. Um, so that's pretty decent. And I've got a few bags here, management bags, cables, lights, etc. Normally I'd carry my um, light in there the Yonyo NY300, so um, I've already done a review on that if you're interested. Um, and look, that fits in pretty neat. Another lens, let's whip that in that compartment. Flash gun. Um, that would either slot down there, that's not the best place, but it would easily slot down there, or I, it would slot next door to that lens. Um, as I said, these mirrorless lenses are pretty small, so, um, as you can see, there's bags of room. So, uh, I'm not really worried about space in this bag. Whipping a laptop, whipping some filters. Where would they go? Filters fit in there, could probably fit. Oh, Cronin has another Manfrotto tripod. Done a review on that as well. Check that out if it interests you. Look at that. Now, one thing to note, look, this handle is on the uh, side, so you're gonna get tilt there, and that bag's already feeling quite heavy. Um, but that's put everything in that I'd need. And now to test out this, reach in, I've seen something I want to film, boom, easy. You know what, that's not bad at all. I could see this being a pretty good rig for if you wanted to carry quite a lot of equipment around, maybe not day traveling, or hiking or anything, but you're going to a location and you need to take quite a lot of equipment. It'd probably be quite handy for weddings as well. Um, you could put a lot of lenses and stuff in there, carry it round, but you're not traveling too far. You're not having to do a lot of walking. As I imagine this shoulder strap would get, get a little bit painful after a while. Um, yeah. Right guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about this bag, then please let us know in the comments below. Um, and equally, if you have any questions about my other bags, let us know. If you wanna see a video about the lower pro rucksack that I've got, 
leave a comment below also. Um, and I'll catch you same time next time, guys. Take it easy. Peace.